Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So if you're new to my channel then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. So students today we are going to solve a question or rather a type of a question which is always asked in these entrances like GMAT, CAT, SAT, ACT, all of that, okay? And trust me, it looks very complicated, but it is very, very easy. You can actually find your answers in five seconds, okay? So without wasting further time, let's try and understand. I'm not going to even look at this question. I'm just going to tell you what is your formula. So if you have, let's say terms A1, A2, A3, going on up to a raised to k okay and the whole raised to n so very simply you can just find the total number of terms as c n plus k minus 1 and k minus 1 Trust me, you can actually pause this video and, you know, start solving all of them and you can check that what is the answer, okay? It is really, really that easy, okay? And before I forget, you really don't have to ensure that all of this is plus, okay? You can have few terms as negative, few terms as positive. It doesn't matter, okay? So now over here, how many terms do we have? One, two, and three, okay? So my final answer is... 15 plus 3 minus 1 and this is 3 minus 1. So this is coming out to be 17C2. And if you don't know how to solve NCR, that is nothing but N factorial upon N minus R factorial and R factorial. Okay. So here we have 17 into 16 into 15 factorial. Why I have just written till 15? Because 17 minus 2 is 15 factorial into 2. Okay. So when I do that, my 15 factorial and 15 factorial gets cancelled. And 2 ones are and 2 eights are. 17 into 8 is nothing but 136. So that's it. That's how we found the answer. Okay. Over here, now we are going to check for this term. Okay, so this expression, we have how many terms? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so we will do 21 plus 4 minus 1 is plus 3 and C3. So we have 24 and we have 3. Okay, so I'm going to write 24 into 20. 3 into 22 into 21 factorial upon 21 factorial into 3 into 2. Okay, so this is going to get cancelled and this is 3 8s are, this is 11s are. So now we just have to find out what is 88 into 23 and that will be our answer. So, my final answer is 2024. Students, if you are liking the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button and also share these kind of videos to whoever is preparing for uh, CAT, GMAT, SAT, all of these entrances, okay? Because trust me, lot of students don't attempt these kind of questions because they find them very, very difficult. But you will actually see, in fact, you actually saw that we can solve these questions in five seconds. Okay, so that's my humble request to everyone. Please do go ahead and share these videos. And also, if you are preparing for these uh, entrances, then please subscribe to my channel because I keep uploading these kind of questions every Mondays. Okay. So now over here, coming to the next question. Okay, before I forget, at the end of this video, I will post a similar kind of question. You will use the trick which I have given you over here and uh, then you will let me know the answers in the comment sections. Okay, and after reading your answers, I'll let you know whether you are right or wrong. In case you are wrong, no need to worry. You can come back to the video and see where you went wrong. Okay, so now over here, we are checking how many terms do we have? One, two, three, four and... 5. So, we are going to write uh, 9 plus 5 minus 1 is 4. C, 4. Okay. So, we are going to get 
13 C 4 that gets you 13 into uh, 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 factorial okay and this will be 9 factorial into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay so we know that 4 and 3 will get cancelled 9 factorial is getting cancelled and we will have to cancel this by 5 so we are getting 55 into 13 and that is nothing but 750 okay so you saw how easy this was okay also students don't forget uh, if you have if you want a particular uh, book to solve these kind of questions then i can recommend a book uh, which is written by mr r s agarwal this book is available on amazon the link of that book is also given in my description you can go ahead and check it out it is really good and it is something which anybody who is preparing for quad should have uh, i'm not saying it is like filled with tricks but if you want to clear your basics and if you want to have a thorough practice about what all kind of questions can come then that is something which i think everyone should have a look at also students if you have any particular topic of these entrances which you think that this is like really very difficult and you're you're not able to find out a trick how to solve that kind of uh, these kind of questions then please mention so you can also email me in fact you won't believe a lot of these videos which i make are from the emails which i get from your side okay so you can also email me and let me know what kind of particular uh topic are you looking for or what kind of questions which you are wanting to have another few practice or you want me to give you few uh, tips and tricks related to uh, solving these kind of questions okay uh, please do so i am always open to so the those kind of things and i'll make a video of that as soon as possible so coming back now you will tell me what is the number of terms in 2x plus 7z plus 9y minus 10 minus log w plus log v. Okay, so that is coming out to be and the whole race to let's say keep it as uh, 70 okay so please go ahead and mention the answers of these terms uh, sorry of this particular question in the comment section okay so that's it for now i will see you in the next video see ya